Thank you so much for all your kind words. I am starting to feel a little bit better and it's actually stopped raining. I don't know that I'll be going to the shops but I'm certainly going to go out for a walk. I am so glad that I went through my pantry. Do you remember a few weeks ago I decided to do a stock take and make sure I'd got things in. It really does pay to go through your pantry and make sure you've got enough things in just in case you can't go out, in case you lose your job, in case of this, in case of that. It's so beneficial to know that you've got a week, a month, three months supply of food, whatever you think you need. I, di I actually didn't need anything, so I didn't have to go out, which is just wonderful. It's, you don't have to worry about it. And I tell you something else as well, when I can't go out, I mean, because I love going out, you know I go on my Sunday walks and everything, I really do appreciate my house plants. So that's actually what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do a, a bit of a catch up with my house plants. Because when I wasn't feeling well and I couldn't go out, I pulled my chair in front of that window, looked out with a slightly open window because I do like my fresh air and just appreciated all the plants. So that's what I'm going to do today. And welcome to all my new subscribers. We've got quite a few over the last few weeks. So thank you very much and thank you to my returning ones. And again, thank you for all your kind words. I shall probably be going maybe tomorrow the day after looking for bargains but I'm, I'm just starting to feel a little bit better so I'm not going to be going around the shops but I'm certainly going to be going out for a walk. Time to start feeding these house plants again, I think. These are those two flat leafed parsley. Did I get them a week apart or two weeks apart? They were both reduced to 10p. That was the first one. And that was the second one. And no, I've, I've not potted either of them on. But what I have been doing is feeding them. I think I'll actually make a, a weaker solution for the house plants but this is the strength I've been using for these. Do you know I'm a bit surprised how much water these take? I've never really grown parsley. <coughs> Excuse me, I've tried to a couple of times from seed but it's never never grown for me. Very good for you apparently parsley. Let me know in the comments section what you use it for. I've just been, I, I have added it to a couple of smoothies and used it on the salad. But look at this. This was just, what, this big a few weeks ago. And do you know what that is? Well, you can see the smaller ones underneath. Look, one of those fungal mats. I think these must be light sensitive because it's no warmer really. This is my spare bedroom that's no warmer on this windowsill and they've just started to hatch but of course it's lighter. Another one up there. Any more? No. This is the celery. I actually got some celery reduced last year, the year before, and I used the celery and saved that much of the bottom of the stalk. It actually was a whole stalk of celery. 
and I'd save that much of the stock and put it in a tiny little bit of water on a saucer, waited for it to root. Then I, once it had rooted, I, I sat it on top of some compost. Well, I did two. One was on my kitchen windowsill and one I put outside. And the one outside lasted through one winter and then the second winter it started to flower. And this is the saved seed. And uh, I did that in autumn. And it, it started to sprout but never grew any bigger. But look at it now, it started to grow. I might prick some of that out. Anyway, we'll give that a water. I have been watering that with the same strength as well. And this, you're going to say to yourself, why are you bothering with that, Jill? The reason I'm bothering with this is when this was really small, right in the centre. Uh, you probably don't remember, but I actually got some organic lemons reduced. And there was quite a lot of seed in. Lemon seeds, and I washed them, dried them. And then I planted them in the centre. And that's what I, that's why I keep watering it in the hope that these lemon seeds will sprout. But I think we can safely say if they've not sprouted by now, Jill, they're not going to. Anyway, look at those. Look how healthy they are. Do you know what I've noticed? I thought I'd got them all yesterday. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'd pulled the chair by the window to get as much light as possible. And I was, as I was sat, I noticed I was getting green fly, which I do on this in spring. No idea where they come from. And I thought I'd I'd got a, a damp cloth and wiped it all. But if you look, where did I see? I don't know if you can see that there. I can just see it's still got some. So I tried to get away without bathing it, but I'm gonna have to bath it I think. It's just that. And this, this doesn't get green fly, it gets tiny little black, not black, brown flies on it, on the new growth, but I can't see any. So I think that's all right for now. But certainly the ivy, bath time I think. I took the dead and dying leaves off the bottom of that ivy. I was going to just swish it about in some mild soapy water. But then I thought, no, I'll just spray in that in this spray bottle I've got mild soapy water and I thought, no, I'll just spray it and leave it for five minutes on the leaves. And then I rinsed it off. I've just watered the rest of my house plants. But I'm not going to water this. How long ago is that? Is it three or four weeks since I repotted this? Does that feel? That one feels quite firm. 
that one does. Bit of movement there, look. I think that was the one that I wasn't sure about. There's another one I think under here. That one's quite firm. I'm still not going to water it though. I can't see it if it's starting to rot. I did look for some more pots about this big because I want to repot my other house plants. This is before I was poorly and um, as luck would have it, I'd gone in the garage looking for some of these bigger pots and I couldn't believe I didn't have any. Anyway, when I was out walking one night in the communal help yourself box, look what I saw. So, I helped myself to three. A job for another day though. It started to drizzle and I thought I'm not going to go walking in this. But I wanted to go out, so I got in the car and I've driven to a garden centre. And as a late Mother's Day treat, I've decided to treat myself to an afternoon tea. I got this lovely cream cherry scone, a pot of tea, and I asked for an extra jug of hot water just to make the tea go a little bit further and I actually got four cups of tea out of it so all that for £4.75 and I won't need to cook when I go home just a sweet treat for a change anyway that's my, that's my trip out take care people